I get tagged in videos and pictures all the time showing giant snakes that are hundreds of feet long. No, this thing has to be 150 feet long. Oh, that one time that snake in the Congo, 159 feet. It was proven. It was measured. They used the termite mounds to get the correct size. But is that true? Now, in 1959, Colonel Remy Van Laird was flying over the Katanga region of the Congo, and he had been in the military for many, many years and had all sorts of accolades and was just a very well-renowned, well-respected colonel. So, when he told his pilot to turn around because he believed he saw a snake, something that, like, the snake had to have been huge it, he just he it caught his eye and he was like you got we need to turn around we need to go check this out so they passed by it a second time and they he couldn't believe it they passed by on a third approach to get as close as possible and as he got closer on that final approach the snake periscoped periscoping is when a snake stands up and this snake struck at the helicopter and they got close enough that the colonel was able to get an estimate on the size of this animal. Of uh, measuring things. And I would say the snake I saw there was close to 50 foot, close to 50 feet. I don't know, you say 50 foot or 50 feet, but very close to certainly. Now he says that the head was a giant triangle, two feet wide by three feet long. The snake was dark greenish brown on top and the underbelly, because it periscoped, he was able to get a good look at it, and it was just pure white. And on top of this, this wasn't just a story. He got a picture. This picture right here is infamous for many reasons. People were using the termite mounds that are in this picture to estimate the size of the snake relative to the termite mounds. And you know, this isn't that bad of an idea. And some people's estimations have the snake at over 160 feet. One estimate has it at 195. Is this possible? But here's the thing. In Africa, the largest snake is the African rock python. And the African rock python is no joke. It is one of the few snakes to have been known to have eaten a person. But... The biggest documented African rock python was like 17 feet. They rarely get above 15 feet. They spend most of their time on the ground. Most large pythons and other large bodied snakes spend a lot of their time in the water to kind of handle that weight. They don't really do that, so they don't get as big as they possibly could. And there's the reticulated python. Now, Medusa, the reticulated python, was the longest one ever, and this was a captive bred animal. And Medusa, was confirmed to be just over 25 feet. Now, reticulated pythons are the snakes most known for eating people. In fact, there was just a grandma in the Sulawese area of Indonesia that was eaten late last year. It does happen, although it is rare. But these guys aren't as big bodied and their patterns are nothing like what Van Leer described. Now, the heaviest snake in the world, all the way across the world in South America, is the green anaconda and the green anaconda there is so much debate on this snake our claims that the snake can get over 800 pounds although the largest on record was just about 600 pounds there are claims that the snake gets over 30 feet long although the longest one was about 22 foot long and even that i've had a hard time finding so in the low to mid 20s is about as big as they can get but the thing about both the reticulated python and the anaconda is that they live in very dense jungles that a lot of people have a hard time getting to. And they both spend a good majority of their time underwater. So people have, might have passed a huge snake and just never saw it because it was under the water. But the Congo, besides the African rock python, the Congo doesn't have a giant snake, at least not that we know of. And that's the thing. There's two options here. Either it's the biggest African rock python ever recorded and we just didn't know they got that big, or it's an entirely brand new species because no snakes in Africa get 50 feet. No snakes in the world alive today get 50 feet. And it's entirely possible that that could be the case. But the size is the problem. Now Van Laird was very reputable. 
He had been flying for a very long time, and he knew a lot about his stuff. But perception can be difficult. Think about it like this. How many times have you had your you and your friend gone fishing, and he catches like a four or five pound bass, and he holds it up in front of the camera like this, and it he says it's a 10 pound bass. It looks so much bigger in the water. It looks so much bigger at the angle you were at. But then when you actually get close to it, it's a lot smaller than you believe. Perception is the key here. And even at a height of 10, 15 feet, if he got that close in a helicopter, he said the snake raised up 10 feet. So he had to have been a decent way back. Otherwise, that snake could have actually got to him. So I'm assuming he was probably at least 50 feet off the ground. Now, of course, this is an assumption. A 20 plus foot snake would be absolutely enormous. The picture that was taken, the termite mounds in the background, people claim that those termite mounds were sometimes 20, 30 feet tall. I don't think that the camera would have been able to take all that in if the snake was truly that big, unless he was far enough back. And if that's the case, if he was far enough back, there's no way that he'd be able to get an accurate representation of the size of this animal. Here's the thing. There's no way for us to know. There's no way for us to know for sure how big this animal was. We can't go back to the actual spot because we don't know where it is. We can't measure things. We can't. There's too much that we just don't know to make any accurate estimations. So saying that Remy Van Laird found a 50 foot snake in the Congo is something that we just can't do. We can hope and we can assume, and I know a lot of people would like to think, just like they would like to think the Megalodon is still out there. there. There has to be a giant out there still. I'm not putting down the fact that there are some crazy parts of the Congo that we have never explored, and it very well could still be out there. But right now, I have to say that this is just speculation. It's not true. It was probably a pretty big snake. Obviously, there was a picture of a pretty big snake, but 50 feet... I have a hard time believing that. But if there is proof of that, please let me know. Go to my TikTok, tag me in the videos. Go to my Instagram, tag me in videos. Tag me in proof I want to see a 50-foot snake. If you liked my explanation, my thought process on this, I really do appreciate that. I'd like you to like, comment, and subscribe. Push the bell icon for all notifications. Let me know what you want me to talk about next. And if you think I'm wrong, I can't wait to hear it. Thank you guys for watching and stay wild.